better than thinking sad about it myself. So all the time I was always thinking, okay, if I get money, I can build a big kitchen to feed everyone. If I get money, I can build houses for everyone. If I get money, if I get money. And so over time, it became really clear that my heart was with kids. Because with these kids, with these kids, this is where the hope is. We want when these kids are 18 years old and they finish school to be able to just work remotely. That is the goal. Like that is, <laughs> and, and this is a very good example. You see this guy right here? I've been told he has a very nice house. This is the one we saw when we walked in. <laughs> hey, why? This guy built his empire from remote work. You see? He was working as a university student. He was working remotely. And over time, he has been able to build his entire profile from that. So this is possible. And what is happening with our education system is that we're not teaching our kids those skills. We're not teaching them how to send uh, emails, teaching them how to network, teaching them how to find jobs. I have TechLit Africa, so I'm the CEO of TechLit Africa, but I also have a school. My school is called Zawadietu Mugotu. That school is four-story building. I built that school in five months. And you know how I did it? I built that school working for a company in California, making a million shillings a month in Mogoto. And, <laughs> and that is what we are trying to do here. Simply that. We want when these kids finish Form 4, we want them to be able to just go work online. Yes. They bring the money from over there and they stay in the community, right? That is what we're trying to do. And that is the goal for Techly Africa. So when I look at these kids, right, this girl that I just met, and I think about how different her future would be, I think about my childhood. I think about when I was Nikichunga Ngome, when I'm sad, when I'm hungry. I think about just because my childhood was sad, hers is different, right? And she's going to have a different life. And she's going to pay it forward. Her kids, if she ever chooses to have kids, will not have to worry about the things I worried about. Will not have to worry about the things that she's worrying about now. And that is how we break generational poverty. That's how we sustainably fix poverty. That's how we go on maskini. And a lot is happening in this room. In this room, we have all the CAPTN students coming here at least twice a week. They come here, they learn how to send emails, they learn how to communicate online, they learn how to make that one million shillings a month well, once they're old enough, okay? okay. And that's really the goal for Tech Miranda. So thank you so much. It's really what um, we, we talked about. We want to make as many online and digital um, enabled people as possible. So when I look at these kids, yeah. in the next 10 years, they'll have skills. Uh, some of them would be animators. Some of them would be software developers. Some of them would be virtual assistants, but working within the community of Cap Theater. So the future really is to create jobs for these young people. We don't want these people to worry about getting a job because as you may know, we have so many people my age who are qualified. They have gone to school very well. My colleagues, we sat together in this classroom, but they are masters and no jobs. Why? Because there is one missing link that they needed to connect to know how to look for jobs. And as Lely has said, you know, when the president came the other day, he talked about Taptengele. Yes. Taptengele is not far from here. <laughs> it's near here. And many people laughed. They did not understand what he meant. But this young girl here, as you can look at her, this is one million a month in the next 10 years or less. So the future is one, continue empowering the kids and now convert that into jobs and create money. The second agenda that we want with this program is to make sure that we roll out in as many schools as possible and even bring it to more adults. Level. Because you see, as these kids grow, they have to grow in this program. So they, they could be today 15 years and below. But we want this to go to junior, secondary, go to secondary, and now build from there. Yeah.